Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Sun. You know, I wanted to talk about a specific fragrance today. And I was getting I was getting ready to do it at my home in my room and I was like, you know something, screw this. I was like, I live four miles, three or four miles from the Isle of Palm, South Carolina. I was like, I hop in my car and uh, drive down to the beach. Um, I thought it would be a little bit better of a scenery than my bedroom. Look at that, isn't that beautiful, man? This is called Isle of Palm, South Carolina. Um, it is Wednesday, March 11th, uh, 2020. And I actually didn't expect so many people to be out here. Um, the uh, weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect for me. It's like, uh, I don't know, 68, 70 degrees. The sky is beautiful. Ocean's beautiful. It's got a really nice ocean breeze blowing. And I was like, man, this will be perfect for uh, to talk about fragrances. Um, I've actually been meaning to uh, talk about this fragrance for a long time, but just never did. There's been more fragrances that I was wanting to talk about more, but you know something, I wore this the other day to work and I was like, okay, my next review is going to be this one because I really, really like this fragrance. Um, I don't know, I guess about three or four months ago I was in Marshalls and just looking around at some of their fragrances and something caught my eye. It was this really dark, deep blue bottle and it's actually one of my favorite colors. And I picked it up and looked and the name intrigued me also. The name is Cobalt and Vetiver. It's by a company called True Fragrance, T-R-U Fragrance. I was like, I love this color, man. And uh, I like the name. Cobalt usually represents like uh, a blue fragrance or an aquatic, something like that. And vetiver, of course, vetiver is one of my favorite notes. <coughs> so I looked at the price and it was 10 bucks. I was like, all right, that's another plus right there. I was like, even if it's 10 bucks, I want to smell it and see what it smells like. So I sprayed it in the air. And I was like, that's another plus because it smells really nice. Um, actually, let me give you the notes before I go any further. And I can't do a blind review because I already know the notes. I've already looked at them. I went home after I purchased it and looked at the notes, so I can't do a blind review. The notes are bergamot, aquatic accord, cyclamen, which is a flower, uh, vetiver, amberwood, and musk. I bought this sucker because it had everything. It had everything going for it as far as I was concerned. The price, the bottle was cool. It smelled good in the air. Ten bucks, so I decided to buy it. Took it home. Um, I actually put it on my shelf. And didn't touch it for a couple of days but one day I seen it on my shelf and uh, I was like you know something I want to go ahead and uh, use this as a work scent a work fragrance so I sprayed it on and immediately I liked it I was like I like this I don't know how it's going to develop I do not know how it's going to dry down but it smells really nice I'll tell you what I got from the opening I got a really strong shower gel and I know that might turn a lot of people off hearing that, but I don't use, I personally do not use a lot of shower gels. Actually, I've used shower gels maybe six, seven times in my entire life. I like bar soaps, but the times that I did use shower gels, I thought they smelled fantastic. I like the smell of shower gels, and I like the smell of somebody that had just used shower gels. Um... But I also got a very blue aquatic also from this and also a very citrus opening too. And actually the citrus is actually quite good on this fragrance. Um, so it's a combination of shower gel, very blue, very aquatic, 
and very citrusy, like a lemon grapefruit. And it's actually quite a nice combination. I really like it. Um, but it stays that way for about 40, 45 minutes. And then after about 40 or 45 minutes, that shower gel aquatic blue sort of lightens up. Um, by then, the citrus is pretty much gone, but it's still the aquatic blue shower gel. It sort of lightens up, and then there's a musk and an amber that comes in. So these notes are actually true. Um, I was able to actually smell pretty much all these notes, um, except for the vetiver, believe it or not. I don't really get any vetiver from this, and that's okay. It's, it still smells fantastic to me. But about the 45 mark, everything lightens up, and the musk and the amber comes in, and it smooths everything out, and it pretty much stays that way um, for the life of the fragrance, which isn't too long. It's about not really any more than five hours on me personally, um, which is okay. You know, sometimes it's okay to have a fragrance that, that's not like beast mode that doesn't last like you know, two months, because I actually sometimes, most of the time, I actually like to wear multiple fragrances during the daytime. I like to put something on in the morning, you know, wait for it to, you know, pretty much be gone, and then spray something else on in the evening or at night. So it's actually good to have fragrances that doesn't last, you know, for two days. Um... But I actually like this fragrance a lot. It's very fresh, very aquatic. It makes me feel clean. Um, this is actually a very energizing fragrance to me. Um, usually aquatics, um, usually aquatic citrus, um, blue fragrances sort of give me uh, energy. Um, so I actually like this a lot. And I actually recommend it. Um, I got this, I see it at Marshall's all the time for like, you know, 10, 15 bucks or something like that. So if you see it at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, definitely pick it up, especially if it's under like 20 bucks um, for 100 mil. That's what this is, is 100 mil. I highly suggest it if you like, if you like that type of fragrance. If you don't like shower gel or aquatic, you probably will not like this because this is a heavy shower gel aquatic, especially the first 40 minutes. Um, I went online last night <clears throat> because I actually like to put links in the description of my reviews to uh, so people will have an opportunity to get a fragrance online because a lot of places, a lot of people don't have Marshalls and TJ Maxx around. So I went online to uh, find a, a link to buy this fragrance. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is, but I could not find this fragrance online for under $49. Um, I actually seen it on Amazon and eBay. Um, some sellers are trying to sell this for like $110 for 100 mil. I do not recommend paying over 25 bucks for this fragrance even though I do like it but definitely do not pay $109 or $110 for this fragrance the only thing I can figure out is the reason why it's so expensive online is because maybe it's been discontinued and I noticed that there'll be a specific fragrance <clears throat> nobody ever talks about it. nobody wants it as soon as it's discontinued Everybody wants it. Everybody's willing to pay like three or four times what it's worth originally. I don't know why people do that. I don't. But maybe that's the reason that um, there's so many people online like jacked up the price like four times. It's because it's been discontinued. But if you see it at a, a rack store or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, pick it up for under 20 bucks. But do not pay, you know, 50 to $110 online for this because... Even though I do like it, I don't think it's worth that. But anyway, um, this is actually pretty nice. Look at that, man. Oh my God, I am so lucky. I am so lucky and grateful to be able to live 
about three or four miles from a place like this. Look at that. That is the Atlantic Ocean. Isle of Palm, South Carolina. I am so lucky and thankful for this. Um, but anyway, that is it for my review. And I'll probably be back here in a couple more weeks. Or maybe a few more days and do another review out here. Anyway, I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Oh, something else. Um, a lot of people already know this. I have a fragrance Facebook group called the Beauty and Art of Fragrances. If you're interested in joining my fragrance Facebook group, <clears throat> I'll put the link in the description. So if you want to uh, join, just send a little request and uh, I'll check you out and that you can join our little family there. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. See ya!